Happy Hanukkah, everybody. I just wanted to say an incredible, amazing uh, story that just happened to me. Uh, so quickly, I'm not even driving the car yet uh, because I wanted to hopefully make this recording and then heading on out uh, with the help of the creator afterwards. So I do some errands this morning, uh, thankfully. Uh, and after one of these errands, I'm not get into the details of what it was exactly I was doing, but as I'm coming out from a particular place I was at, a thought came to my mind, uh, like, what is it that is so important in the world that needs to be revealed so that, so that good things can happen and can help to happen? And thankfully, uh, as many of us have been learning Imuna either for a few days or a few years or even sometimes a decade or more. In my case, the first time that I came across the teachings of Imuna as an actual concept that really, uh, really helped me uh, grow in my personal life and spiritual life, obviously the two are very much connected, was at this point, I think already more than 10 years ago, about, we're going back to about 2009 or so, when I first got a book about Imuna, and at this point, uh, it really helped me start to see the the hand of the Creator in our lives, which is something that the more that we look for and, and, and are, are shown the divine supervision in our lives, the better it will be for all of us in the whole world and kind, because the more that this knowledge is revealed and made known, the more it will start to be revealed and made known even more and more as concentric circles go. Many times we hear from our teachers, our mentors, like Rav Dror, etc. And this particular concept is so important. I'm coming out, I'm thinking, what can we think about? And all of a sudden it hit me a very amazing, inspirational thought about uh, the concept of belief, knowledge, certainty about, about the divine is gratitude. We know that gratitude is so important and our blessings in the morning and in the afternoon and the evening were saying, blessed are you, the Creator, for, for this and for that. And that basically is acknowledging that whatever we have in our lives comes from Him. Uh, when we say grace after meals, we say, thank you, God. It's a biblical commandment. And then there's some more that have been added by the sages of the previous generations many years ago. Uh, so the concept of gratitude is pivotal. And as I've heard some years back, gratitude is the central message and theme of Hanukkah because of the fact that even in our prayers of Al Hanisim, we are thanking the Creator for, and we're praising the Creator for all of the miracles that He has done for us. And as we need to remember, currently, um, the miracles are not ancient. They're not stuck in the past. They are constantly happening in our lives today. Sometimes people experience obvious miracles. Sometimes people experience daily life, but the only difference between the two is an obvious miracle is something that just defies nature so much you can't ignore the fact that it's supernatural. Daily life is something that we got used to, unfortunately. We get used to the fact that we breathe, that our heart beats, that we, we, we drive or we walk, or if a person has problems, that they've been helped so many times times before and many times people get into the trap of thinking well how about this problem or how about that problem and that's the nature of a problem it starts to block one's view from all the good they've seen that they've experienced in their lives and so when we when we try to focus on the good we temporarily are distracted from the not so good and then that good starts to resonate and makes a spiritual reaction that starts to initiate the process of of god willing allowing more good which is what we experience in our lives, according to the principles of Amona. Simply speaking, is everything in the world happens for uh, happens uh, for a divine reason, and that divine reason, and many times hidden, sometimes revealed. And the Creator is only good, so basically He does only good. But many times, that good is not revealed in the world in the way that ultimately it's coming from the source. Not getting into the details right now, but if we think about the fact that the Creator is only good, then the deepest level is that anything that happens in the world is only good. The question is: Is it a superficial good? easy for us to grasp, or is it such a hidden good that it's actually on the surface looking the opposite, but in reality, ultimately, it's good. That's the, And we always pray that, that God should please reveal good, that He should help the good be revealed, that it will be revealed, not only hidden, that people will be able to relate, to grasp uh, the good, and to sense it, and to feel it, that it's not hidden, because He wants to do good. But God is good, whatever He does is good, therefore anything that happens is good. Getting past um, the, 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 the complexities of that, so if we start to 
thank for the blessings we have, it helps to initiate even more blessings. First, for us to be aware of the blessings, which helps our mindset get more positive, because then we're, oh, hey, the Creator helped me here, the Creator helped me there, the Creator helped me there. We start to focus on the better and not on whatever we're experiencing at the moment. And then as that occurs, that builds a pipeline that starts to allow the blessings to flow more down into our daily lives, which actually literally helps to bring about more revealed good because that's the Creator's true will, is that the good will be revealed. The fact that He is in charge of everything will be known to everybody, and that will cause it to go from hidden to revealed, and will cancel the judgments. As we know, when a person's a problem, they can actually focus on the good, on the blessings, and even if they're able to, honestly, with the Creator's help, thank for the problems, and that can actually go about and help to transform those problems by canceling the judgments, which, as a result of whatever happened in the world at that point, transgressions, mistakes, problems, they can lead to a, a whole accounting system in heaven mm -hmm. that leads to challenges that people experience on earth that's a result of divine judgments, din. Uh, and the gratitude can actually help to basically halt those judgments and actually sweeten them and reveal them less, the blessings and the mercies and, and the good, which is the Creator's hidden ultimate true will that he wants to reveal is that only good will shine forth, only mercy, only kindness, only compassion. So long story short, as I'm coming out of this facility that I was at, the thought occurred to me, how is it that, that gratitude is so important? Um, uh, because it actually reminds us that the Creator is real, that He's with us, that He supervises the world and He supervises our own lives. And that's probably one of the main reasons why it's so connected to the concept of Amunah is to the whole recognition. Uh, Hoda'a is acknowledging that things are happening for a reason and thanking the source of those things and remembering and learning and reminding and spreading and teaching the knowledge that the Creator, the source of these things is good and at the root of the things that happen, whatever they may be, it, they are good if you connect them to the source that's sending them, which is the Creator. And that can actually help to transform the seemingly bad into the revealed good. Rabbi Nachman goes into this detail and he talks about how by focusing on Imunah, it literally can transform the bad occurrences to make them become good by revealing the mercy, the kindness, the whatever. So I'm coming out, I'm thinking this thoughts about gratitude. All of a sudden I get a um, a WhatsApp message from my wife who sends me a like a meme, which just a few words here and there, and it's incredible. Maybe I'll share it under this video, that, that meme. And it was about basically gratitude. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even have a few seconds to do anything else. I came out of this place, and this message sent to me, so it was like a confirmation. This is the message that the Creator is wanting to shine in the world right now. And and, and, and it's amazing. Okay, and then all of a sudden, I'm trying to uh, find uh, my keys, and I don't see them. I don't know where they are. And right away, I'm checking my pockets, my jacket, my um, my pants, and I'm like, this is funny. So right away, I start thinking, are right they? And then I have to remind myself the fact that I'm missing the keys right now, the fact that I'm missing the keys right now is for a reason. The Creator took away my keys from me. That's the imuna. So we have to try to remind ourselves to kick the imuna into gear. As soon as we do that. We um, start to think about that, start to say, okay, so if I don't have the keys, the Creator's only going to have the keys now, there's a reason for that, why is that, I don't know, but that's where Muna comes in, to believe that. And then I try to thank, okay, thank you God that I don't have my keys now, that you took away my keys from me, thank you, I don't know why, that's not my job to know, but I know for a fact it has to be for a reason, thank you, thank you, thank you. After To, to find the keys and help me to retrace my steps. Long story short, I went back a few steps to another place where I was out a few minutes earlier, and I look on the table, and my keys are there, and I tell the lady, the secretary there, uh, oh, are these my keys? Yeah, yeah, she, she doesn't know whose they are. I took them, and I said, it's incredible, and, and, and long story short, we had a conversation, and I said something about how a, a, a thank, thank God I told her I was trying to, before even asking the Creator, I was thanking Him for the keys and uh, for, 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 have, for taking away the keys from me temporarily, and there's a reason for that, and how gratitude is even important and has to even supersede requests sometimes. And she said, wow, I can't believe you said that, uh, because she just was speaking with a woman a few minutes earlier about that exact same concept, that exact same point, and it's unbelievable how I came and kind of like, 
confirm that thought, which she was going through minutes earlier, which has happened at the same time. And so I showed her that meme. She wanted me to send it to her because she had to go to a meeting. And the fact is, these are, these are the type of divine supervision that, that's happening. And it's funny how I'm listening to a, a, a class by Rav Dror a few days ago about the godly supervision uh, versus uh, coincidence. And and I'm still not done listening to it yet because I'm basically the first third quarter of the video, and it's just reminding us how what we experience in our lives at the moment is not isolated. It's connected to other people's events and occurrences, and by us trying to tap into the divine behind the scenes, we pull that energy from the divine into the mundane, into the world around us, and other people at the same time are going through their own struggles and issues, and they're pulling that, and we're all connected, and then God brings us together to share and to convey those points as confirmations that this is how he is speaking to the world, through the world, through each other, to share the knowledge of his existence, to make it that whatever is hidden and true will be revealed and made known to everybody in the world, and that is the redemption. That is the Gula. That is what will happen when the hidden divinity becomes revealed for all of humanity. And then the miracles that are happening now and have happened in the past will become more common, more frequent, uh, in some cases even more amazing. And then people will get used to that, but not in a bad way. It will be living on a higher spiritual plane. That before a person asks anybody else for a solution, for advice, first... They have to recognize where it comes from, the issue they have, and then they have to try, if possible, to acknowledge that, that it comes from the divine, and then try to do whatever they can at the moment that they're able to, to bless, to thank, to acknowledge, and then to ask and to request, and then to make known that as the Creator helps you, how we helped you to help other people have the strength to go through their challenges, because whenever we are given help from above. We're not supposed to keep it secret because that doesn't only belong to us. The Creator helps each one so they can shine that light into other people and that way the light will grow, the knowledge will will spread forth and the blessings will be revealed and the hidden godliness will be revealed for everybody to benefit from. And that is the message of Hanukkah. The divine supervision did not end two, three, four thousand years ago. It's happening now, and the Creator's will is to make it known to every human being on earth, every entity in the universe, in all the worlds, that, he, that this is real, this is powerful, that He exists, and He wants to reveal the knowledge, the power, the goodness for everybody to perceive that in the real, as they call it, world, in, in our world, which is, which is sometimes um, the, the, the final step, if you will, of this whole process, but not to get into the details about that right now. Okay, thank you. If you if you like that message, I hope it helped you. If you want to share the words, either by spreading the, the video or the message or the concepts, either way, you can just share what happened to you or share the knowledge. Just uh, with the Creator's help, let's, let, let, let's try to seek how we can make His knowledge, His ways known to everybody in the universe forever.